What's up everyone? Welcome to the first check day of Pennsylvania beaver season. As you can see, we made some catches. Um, I mean, it was an awesome day on the river. Um, we definitely uh, definitely missed some beavers too. So there's, there's more for us to get. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is I got some great news. Uh, the end of January, I'm going to be headed down to Kentucky. And uh, one of my buddies down there wants to go down, uh, well, wants to trap some beavers. He's never trapped. So we're going to go down and catch some beavers and um, see what we can't do. So I think we're going to go down for about four or five days, see what we can't, uh, can't take out of the Kentucky wilderness. So with that being said, everyone, hey, enjoy the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. So I don't know if you guys could see this, but I'm checking beaver snares, and there's a beaver swinging the current out in the middle. All right, so this guy's going to be on my list. So this snare here, you guys didn't see me set this, unless someone's messing with me, but I don't think anyone's messing with me because <clears throat> this right here is his feed bed, and this is a beaver we just saw. And you can see he's got this run all tore up. I don't know if I got him in a leg or what, but regardless, he should not be spooked because this snare isn't even kinks. And you can see, he run my snare and drug it the whole way over here. And like I said, it's not even kinked. There is a little bit of fur in there, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. And then the set that we made together, let's walk up here. He just pushed the loop out of the way. So I got to get a better stick. Right there. And you can see... He climbed up the bank right there, and he made his own little caster mound, so. We don't have a dumb one. We got a smart one. Luckily, it wasn't a trap. If this was a trap, you know, this guy, I don't think we'd ever catch him. So, well, stay tuned, folks. Let me get these two reset up and uh, reload and make some new caster mounds, and hopefully we get them tonight. All right, folks. So right here was another set I had underneath this log, and this river, it came up. It came up a little bit, but regardless, I should have put a conibear bear under there. I didn't bring one down. Um, and same thing, must have caught this guy's leg and uh, he drug it off. But you could look and see, man, no fur, nothing like that. So with that water fluctuating, it kind of got me. Um, but regardless, I'll get this guy reset and uh. Maybe tomorrow. I got another one down further. We'll see if we got him down there. Well, we had a snare set right here. And if you guys can see, the bank's all tore up. Look what we got. Ooh, he's a mean one. <laughs> Made me jump. Perfect, perfect snare right behind the head. Man, he came right up in there and he did his thing. He's going to lunge at me. And he did his thing. That's a nice beaver. So we'll get him taken care of. And I got some more sets. Now here's the only thing that stinks about snares. Yes, they're cheap. But now this snare's one and done. I didn't bring another one down. So what I'm going to end up doing is uh, resetting that one down below. And we'll have one here. There, you can see that lock. You can see that lock right behind his uh, head there. Perfect catch. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Man, this guy's ticked. So, I'm gonna get him taken care of and we'll go from there. He actually hopped through it a lot further than I thought. I ended up getting him right there. One thing that I don't like about these snares is you can see that line, but it is what it is, you know? If you wanna catch them. All right, well, I don't know if you guys can see that snare right there, but she's reset up. Took a tumble. <laughs> if you've ever beaver trapped and you ain't got yourself in situations like this or you ain't fell in the water ever you're not beaver trapping all right folks so this set right here i used a foot trap i had deep enough water for the beaver um and i did compensate sorry it's a bird's joint i did compensate um for the river to come up on this uh, i left my trap pretty shallow so when the river came up I'd get him in a hind foot catch and we connected. So let's pull it up. 
And this right here is one of my my cables that I shortened up. Let's pull them out. See what we got. Oh, this guy's a boss, it looks like. There we go. Perfect hind foot catch. Now that's a, uh, this is a Duke number four. And what I do, I love my long springs, but this was a new location and with theft, you know, um, these guys are a little cheaper than my long springs. And uh, that's why I set it. That's why I set this up here. But regardless, we're gonna reset this trap and uh, hopefully we can't get another one and go from there. So just to show you guys, all that I do, I have a feed sack. I know it looks like a sore thumb sticking out there, but that's all I could really get for feed sacks from the feed store the other day. Um, I filled that up with dirt. I have no rocks right here. So I'm gonna chuck this back out in the deep and that's gonna be my counterweight. So. Take this cable and on this end here all that I have is a uh, just a t-bar that I had welded up so. take that like so now he's out in the deep water now this beaver got his front paws on my slide I just dug this slide out um, and I think another one came up here because I have tracks. Well, the beaver's on it now, but I had tracks up under this beaver. So. Take that trap. And again, all I'm gonna do is put this trap so the beaver's going through the jaws. Just so, I mean, I don't know if you saw that catch. I really don't like showing that. But that beaver's hind foot, I could show it to you, it's big. I want him going through the jaws, so that way his webbing and everything is in this trap. So, and we're gonna favor this to one side. I prefer to favor it to the downstream side, so that way the beaver has more control swimming up the current to come into this slide. Is that guaranteed he does that? No, that's just what I like. And by setting like this, you're only going to catch big beavers. You're not going to get any little guys. So, just going to shove that stick in there. Put this stick like so. And then any debris coming down, that stick there will catch it. And it's going to go out, go out in the river. We'll call it a day. So, I mean, that's as simple as it is. Um, for catching a beaver you know this is how I do it with a drowning rig I don't use uh, drowning rods and the reason I don't use drowning rods is because well you just seen I could be in an area that's rocky or an area that's soft and muddy like this but um, just to show you this was a 20-foot cable and this is one of the cables that I made um, connected it to that t-bar and we now made it about 10 feet so as where a traditional drowning cable if we needed you know 10 feet and it was only an eight footer we're screwed if it was a 10 footer and we only needed five feet again we're screwed we were stuck with what we have that's why this drowning cable i didn't have to have my trap pre-hooked up to it or anything you know if i come down here and i see mink sign and i need to get a drowner on there boom i could put a one and a half on here nothing needs to be pre-hooked up so i'm gonna throw that cable up there and we're gonna get some wilkinson gould on this mound and go to the next we got one more set all right here's another setup and uh again beaver set the snare off with the water fluctuation I mean that's the only thing I could see that's screwing me over and you could see he was up on here so I'm gonna set this snare back up and I had that snare right there and it's I don't think you can see it with the glare but it's right there so I'm gonna set this up and again try to compensate for the water dropping because he definitely would have been walking into this one and just to show you guys you can see way up in there he's been they're digging there's a little feed bed Right there, there's some sticks. But, um, well, I'll, I'll try to compensate for the water now dropping. And, uh, well, we'll go from there. So, maybe we can connect tomorrow.